require Cyber Essentials or Cyber Essentials Plus certification, or you have such a certification that you need to renew, you need to get on and get it done before the 31st of March. If you delay and go beyond the 31st of March, you're likely to find under the new accreditation requirements for the Cyber Essentials Scheme that the process for achieving that is significantly harder, more costly, more time consuming and more complicated. You need to get active on the IT Governance Cyber Essentials portal as soon as you possibly can. What's changing about the Cyber Essentials Scheme is that with effect from the 1st of April 2020, there will be a single national accreditation body, IASB, which will replace the existing framework of five separate accreditation bodies. There will be a single national certification scheme and all of the existing certifications will not be ported into the new framework. So the challenge for all organizations seeking to either initiate a Cyber Central certification or to renew an existing certification is that after the 30th of March, they will no longer be able to do it through their existing arrangements. The new format will be a a manually completed application form which will require free text input which will be reviewed by an assessor whose uh, skills will be based on experience not on technical qualifications and the assessment will be managed through IASME or IASME certified certification bodies. The impact on organizations will mean that getting certified is likely to take four times as long from the organization's point of view as it does at the moment on the IT governance portal. And the additional assurance that you and your customers have from the fact that under request accredited certification, you have an external vulnerability scan, which demonstrates that the controls that you self-assessed are genuinely in place will no longer be available as an option. Cyber Essentials Plus will continue to be available under the IASME scheme, but again, the process of achieving it will become more complex. At the moment, and up to the 30th of March, you can become Cyber Essentials Plus certificated from a standing start because you can do Cyber Essentials and Cyber Essentials Plus in a single application. Under the new IASME scheme, you will first have to self-certify to Cyber Essentials and then three months later come back and do Cyber Essentials Plus. You will pay for two separate certifications. It will be a more complex and more time-consuming process. And it looks as though from a renewal point of view, you will have to go through those steps all over again with the manual process if you are looking to renew under the IASME scheme rather than simply as you can now uh, go to the IT governance portal push the renew button and have all of your existing data available to make renewal very straightforward and easy. Until the 31st of March all certification schemes run exactly as they are designed to run under the existing accreditation framework. That means that if you initiate an application, either a first-time application or a renewal, before the 31st of March, you will be able to take advantage of the scheme as it exists now and to take advantage of all the automated features that are currently available to you through the IT governance portal. With effect from the 1st of April, all of that falls away. So the message is initiate a first-time application or a renewal before the 31st of March, you have until the 30th of June to complete the work necessary to achieve certification, which will be issued under the existing accredited certification arrangements, and which will have an expected validity of about a year from the date on which you complete certification. So, take advantage of the work that you've done and that we've done to make Cyber Central certification easy and assured, and get yourself into a place to take advantage of that before the 31st of March.